My family used to go to the beach every summer. For me, that was my favorite thing to do all year long, hearing the seagulls, the sound of the ocean pounding on the beach. For me, that was just grounding and relaxing and fascinating all at the same time. The physicality of the ocean is one of the things that, as a kid, attracted me the most. That thrill of just having that ocean energy pushed me along. You could just ride all day. There was no lift tickets. There was no fees to get into the ocean. When I describe to people what it's like to dive on a coral reef, they're like, oh, I never thought about that. They've never had a shark swim right beside them. Look them in the eye and give them a little fright for a second before they realize that the shark just wonders what I'm doing, just like I wonder what the shark is doing. I started free diving. So when I think of diving, I really think of free diving. Like, this is what whales do, right? Take a big breath of air, and they hold that oxygen inside their body. This ability to free dive down to where the scuba divers were, swim around and come back up, was just so free, nothing on, no equipment. I just love that, it made me feel like a fish. When I did my first submersible dive, I realized it wasn't just that I was meant to be out on ships. I was supposed to be in the bottom. I don't think anyone has ever measured endorphins in submarines, but I can tell you they're probably through the roof. The first time I was in a submarine, I saw that life down there and 50 new questions popped into my brain. That wouldn't have come up because it was this immersive experience and I just felt it. When you're in a submarine and you're looking at these magical environments, you're overwhelmed by this sense of wonder. You're humbled by this feeling of, there's so much I don't know about the world. And you're stimulated to figure out how this all works together. I'm a marine biologist. I'm someone who studies the ocean from as many angles as I can. When my kids ask me what I do for a living, I tell them that I'm an explorer. I'm an aquanaut. I dive down to the bottom of the ocean and I see things that people have never seen before. How lucky am I to be able to share this amazing habitat with the rest of the world?